Hi everyone, it's Kirstine from the Mustard Tree Trust. Hello everybody. I thought I'd try and do another assembly outside today. But it's a bit chilly outside, not least of all because I've lost all my hair, but I've got my scarf on. But I thought I'd come and do assembly outside because it's harvest time. And as you can see from my apple tree, nearly all of the apples are gone. There's one or two still clinging on, but harvest is nearly over. But you know, harvest is one of God's promises as well. At the very beginning of the Bible, God says this. The Bible. As long as the earth endures, seed time and harvest, cold and heat, summer and winter, day and night will never cease. So that's one of God's promises too. But we're going to look at another of God's promises. And in Mark's gospel, he tells some stories. And he tells, he tells us of the stories that Jesus has been telling the people. They're called parables. They're like stories with a hidden meaning. He said, this is what the kingdom of God is like. A man scatters seed on the ground. Night and day, whether he sleeps or gets up, the seed sprouts and grows. Though he doesn't know how, all by itself the soil produces corn. First the stalk, then the ear, and then the full grain in the ear. And as soon as the corn is ripe, he puts a sickle to it because the harvest has come. Now I know we do help our seeds a little bit. We give them water and we make sure they have sunshine. But it is a bit amazing that he just put the seed in the soil and it grows. Just after that, he says this. And again, Jesus said, what should we say the kingdom of God is like? Or what par parable should we use to describe it? It's like a mustard seed, which is the smallest of seeds in the whole earth. And yet when planted, it grows and becomes the largest of all the garden plants with such big branches that the birds can perch in its shade. Now, mustard seeds are something that I'm familiar with because this is the Mustard Tree Trust. I want to show you some seeds. Can you see? They're absolutely tiny. Now the mustard seeds we have in this country are actually slightly different, but in Jesus' time, they would have had these tiny, tiny little seeds. They're so small that you can't really even see them. Can you see them there? These tiny, tiny little seeds would have grown and grown and grown. And I'm going to show you a picture now. That's a man standing in front of a mustard tree bush. It's huge. And it all comes from these tiny little seeds. And it grows so much that the birds can live on it. How cool is that? So this isn't just a story about seeds, is it? Because the beginning of that bit, Jesus says, the kingdom of heaven is like. Now the people at that time were actually wanting a king and waiting for a king. They were governed by Romans and they thought Jesus was gonna come and take over the whole kingdom and he was gonna get rid of all the Romans and they'd be free. But Jesus saying, I am a king. But my kingdom's a bit different. You don't need swords. You don't need to fight against the Romans. You see, my kingdom is like that seed. My kingdom is about showing God's love in the world today. It's like sowing seeds of love everywhere. And when they grow, they grow and grow and grow. And so that other people start sharing out the love and other people start being kind to each other. And it grows and grows and grows so that you've got a huge, big tree or country where everybody is loving each other. Can you imagine that? And that's what Jesus is saying to us today, all these years later. I'm still building my kingdom. I'm still building and planting my seeds. Because when you do something full of love, I'm still sharing God's love. Because when you do something loving and kind, 
it often gets planted inside a person and then they go on and do something caring and loving too. So, where are you going to put your seeds today? Are you going to plant seeds of love and kindness? Because there is another type of seed. You see, when we're grumpy and not kind to people, when we hurt somebody, either with our fists or our words, that can grow too. That can sit in a person's heart and make them unkind. And it also makes you more unkind. So you have a choice. Are you going to be part of God's kingdom and sow these seeds full of love and kindness? Or are you going to sow the seeds of unkindness and unfriendliness? The choice is yours. Because it doesn't matter which one you sow, it will grow. Like that first little story said, it will grow in your heart and in your lives. And yes, if we can do things to help our seeds grow, we can be kind and be more kind and, and point out to ourselves that we are being kind. And maybe point out to other people that we're being kind. But it will grow in our hearts, whether we do anything much about it or not. So, today, this week, half term. What sort of seeds are you going to plant? How is your life going to look? Are you going to be a tree full of good things that people can come and shelter in because you're kind to them? I wonder. Well, I hope you have a good week and I hope you have a good week off next week because it's half term. But we'll be back after half-term to see you then. Bye!